Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Hot Wheels 254. So today uh, is another day here at Lota Automotives and today I'm bringing you a pretty cool car, still a Mercedes, a car that is favorable at, your, at, your, at, a, at a fixed budget or at a lower budget. So this one is the Mercedes-Benz CLA 180. It is smaller than the C200 if I'm not wrong, but at that range. So if you want to get a Mercedes and you are running on a tight budget, you are not yet there to get um, maybe Mercedes S-Class or maybe E-Class uh, or the C-Class, we got you covered, you got the CLA 180. So you're going to have a review of it and you're going to see why you should get this vehicle over other vehicles. So I'm going to start here at the front. And as you can see, everything is just basic. It is like a Mercedes. So we've got a logo here, the massive logo here. Don't forget to go to uh, Lota Automotives Kenya, their website, and get to see vehicles like this. So um, you can see the lights are here, the chrome bits of it, the grill there. Very, very massive bumper from here. The front part, uh, the whole of the front part is a, is a bumper. So we also have parking sensors there. We have uh, intake here, and here. actually they are not fake, they are real, they, they work. So we have the light washers and the cool uh, LED. I think this, uh, um, the, 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 um, the lens is very, very large. We also have the parking sensors, uh, the parking lights, I mean, and the, the day running lights, and we also have the the, the indicators there or the blinkers. So I think that is it. You can see it has a really low profile. It has a really low profile and then you're going to head to the side the side profile and then you're going to finish it from the back profile before you get to the interior and power it up and see why this is the best car for a starter person. So guys what you're seeing right now is um, the side profile of the Mercedes-Benz CLA 180. So you want us to go closely and if, uh, so that as you follow the bits that you may see why well, this one is a good car for you. So the first thing that, uh, that really blows my mind is these doors. As you can see, they are frameless. They don't have the, the windows are frameless. They don't have the frame as in normal, the normal cars. So these frameless uh, doors are also found in maybe Subarus like that, older Subarus. So as you can see, it is very, very nice. And if I close the door, the, 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 if I close it, the windows now rise to, to cover the bit so, so that water cannot enter in. Also, the back doors come with the same. So when I open the door, it really it goes down by a bit, and, and when I close it, it, it goes up to fill the place. So you can see it looks so nice how this uh, place for the touch sensitivity to close your doors without using your key. And then the, the side mirrors have a blinker here, and they look so nice. Then you have the AMG wheels also. I can use this one so that I think it is slightly visible than the other one. So you can see it is very, very nice and it is running on 18-inch um, uh, wheels. 18-inch wheels and their thickness is 25 centimeters. I think that gives you a lot of grip on the ground than other wheels. So you can see AMG wheels are as written here and they are from Mercedes where AMG is for the manufacturer of AMGs. So, it looks so nice, but if not, I'm not, it is not a maybe center bolt, so it has the five bolts to lock the wheels. And then uh, also discs at the back and discs at the front. They are not perforated though, they are just basic. And I think it is very, very nice. There is high stopping power. So we also have a parking sensor there. And then like, as you can see, the side profile is also really low. And then the, um, the ground clearance is also not bad, but not the best. Remember this one is just a relaxing car. This one is a Mercedes, so we don't compare it to maybe premiums where we find guys lifting their premiums and giving it a ground clearance of about 30 centimeters. So this is not this one is not that type of a car. So let's go to the back and then we go into the interior, power it up and enjoy the features that when you get this car you're going to enjoy. So follow closely. So guys, here at the back of this Mercedes-Benz CLA 180, you are going to meet the following. The first thing you will meet is the Mercedes logo, the three-point star, the name CLA 180, 180, and then you are going to meet this AMG badging, twin tailpipes, and then this diffuser that looks so nice with the different color, the two-tone paint. And then you are going to also to meet these taillights, they are very, very large, I think they really stand out so you're going to meet red essence gray and also um, essence i mean and also the black badging and then don't forget the twin tailpipes they sound nicely as you will see and then or here and then you're going to have parking sensors there and then there's a chrome 
a bit here and also the other side so this uh, whenever you see um whenever you see um um whenever you see this carbon fiber bits so carbon fiber is very very strong twice as strong as steel and uh, lesser the weight half than, than that of steel so i think it looks so nice then you have the shark fin uh, antenna there and then a place to fit your uh, your um, your your number plate and then that is it so the other thing that uh, before i forget is that the the trunk so the trunk is opened manu uh, by a button but closed manually have light and then so i think this one is bigger than the c class uh, because it is really pulled so I think we are talking of maybe 600 or 580 liters of space. So I think that is very, very nice. Then before you even fold the, the seats, I think your, your space is enough. But after folding the seats, you are talking of, I think, 600 and something liters of space. Then let me see if we have, um, we don't have a spare, but I think you are going to get something. So we have here the, the thing to, to do your tires. So so these days you don't need to have a spare there there is the the repair kit you just need to do it by yourself so i think that is it let's go pop up the engine look at some features about it the gearbox and everything and then you come to the interior and enjoy some features So guys, I've popped up the bonnet as you can see, and here we have this engine. So Mercedes CLA 180 uses 1600cc turbocharged that produces 122 brake horsepower and 147 newton meters of torque. So it is mated to a 7-speed dual clutch transmission, and I think the drive has to be smooth. So the number of the more the number of gears, the smoother the ride, as compared to 4-speed the for. Uh, before then we went to five sp five speed six speed we went to uh, six speed like that until we have ten speed for the pickups nine speed for Mercedes and so forth so the other thing that I wanted to say was that so it is very very clean this one is a clean car I don't think you're going to visit the mechanic as much as you might meet, you might visit the mechanic in your BMW M3 or maybe three series so. I think that is it so but this one does not have the shocks to hold the bonnet you're going to use this normal stick so i think that is it let us power it on and then we see some features so follow closely So guys, I'm in the interior of this Mercedes CLA 180. I've just powered it up. So this one is not, um, it is powered by your key, like that it is here. You're not going to, it does not have the power, the start stop no button. So you're going to see, meet this screen here at the center console, at the middle. And then you also have um, this uh, uh, heads up display there. And then we have uh, some bits here. So you have this cool AC vents here that look so nice. You need to have your, um, your controls here so you have radio navigation a uh, mute answering and uh, uh cancelling your calls the vehicle so everything is there then you have you also have these numbers here to call and then you meet your your you meet the the um hazard button here i don't know if it is carefully comfortably seen you also have auto start like that parking sensors heated seats let me hit my seat then you also have to hit your passenger then you also have a uh, climate control here. You also have 12 volt socket here, storage space, and then that one is closed there. Then you also have cup holder, not cup holder, storage space here, but your cup holders are here. And then you also have this one to control your your to control your screen there. So I'll uh, close it. So um, so that one is our, our map that shows the one from Japan. So if I zoom it like that, like that. Let me go back and go to media maybe. 
So there is media, but now right now I've not connected anything. Then I'll back again. Go to maybe vehicle. Uh -huh. So you get your vehicle settings, you get time, you get operators manual, consumption, dynamic select there maybe. Going to set your comfort, maybe for your steering gearbox, auto start on or off, comfort mode like that. And then you're going to have vehicle settings there, then I'll click OK. Going to set any everything there, inclu including ambient lighting, going to set your exterior delay so when you when you maybe switch off your car so some lights will go off slowly like that so there are a lot of features this one is a German machine so we don't expect it to be uh, normal the way you expect so you're going to meet so many features so then the vehicle again I wanted to show you the consumption there so you'll, you'll meet some graphs while driving so that you can see what is your consumption from zero to all the way to 25 kilometers per liter? So that is it. Then here um, you're going to meet a screen there at the middle, and then you are zero to uh, zero to two six. Your speedometer goes all the way from zero to two sixty, and then your 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 um, a tachometer goes from zero to eight. So that is it. Then you're going to have your gear selector. So let me do it for you today. So I'll I'll press the brake. And then I'll use this lever here to select the gear. So right now I'll put it in drive, but it's saying service, I don't know in what, so let me do it again. So I'll put it in drive and it says D1. Um, so I've, I've touched the the uh, paddle shifts and it is saying M1, so I'll choose M2 all the way. It is not going because the vehicle is still at a stop. Then I'll take it back to neutral and then to reverse like that like that then you will see the reverse camera there so apart from that i will still take it to neutral and also press the park like that and then the parking brake is here and you can see it like that so um that is it so guys um let me put it on So that is it. Then you're going to meet the seat controls here. So you have for your headrest, for your backrest, and for your thighs, uh, for your under, uh, for your lumbar support, and then to lock and unlock, unlock and lock your seat, and then you also have controls here for your windows. So that is it, guys, and storage space here in your cup, in your armrest. So you're going to open it like that. There's storage space there, and close it and use it as your armrest. So you also have the extension here and also high quality material leather. So there's this two-tone paint also in the interior. You have black um, leather and also this soft leather in red. So I think it looks so nice. Then you also have some lights here, reading lights and everything. I'll put them off like that. Then that is it. So I think we'll maybe jump to the rear and then I'll drive it a little bit so that you may uh, hear how it roars. So that is it, guys. Uh, before I go to the rear first, let me show you something guys. So I uh, remember I told you in the other video Mercedes has the best um, Mercedes has the best uh, What do we call it? Um, cruise control. So as they're speaking, let me show you something So I just I've just shifted it to drive and then I want to show you so it is here it is down here So I will do it like that and you'll see here. So it marks at, at 30. So here here at 30 then I'll Add it like that, 40, 50, 60, 80, 100, like that, and so forth. So that is your cruise control. Then I'll downshift it and I'll cancel it by pressing a button there. And then also have the heads-up display that shows us the range from the front car. Because in this car you can actually select. So I think I've done it. So you can select the distance that you want to maintain from your front car, as you can see there. So that is it guys. So I told you Mercedes has some cool features. Actually Mercedes is the pioneer of so many features that, are, that other vehicles came to find them later. So there I'm so that it's, there it's saying my speed limit actually is 30. And then fuel, low is, fuel level is slow. Okay guys, so let's jump to the rear seats, get the comfort and then I rev the car for you. Then you end the video. So guys, here in the rear there's not a lot happening. Just have this uh frameless doors that i told you earlier then place to open your door uh, fine quality leather and also the red uh, color here 
uh, sound system so we have the mid and the bass here and then the tweets here or the tweeters and then the seats here are very very comfortable high quality materials so high quality material here place to fit your child seat and then the seats here at the back are also comfortable then the seat belts are also here but the space is not quite as large as in, in maybe C class or the E class but I think this is the best car like it is it really fits you so for the guys going for vids and everything you just have to maybe increase your budget a little bit and then you're going to get something really 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 well remember this one is a 1600c so you don't expect it to be like maybe the early on that use 1800c so it is slightly efficient than them because a lot of power is derived from a small from a, a, a small engine so that is it guys let me rev a little bit and then you're going to give a verdict of the video I hope you've seen the video. I hope you've seen how the lights look really nice and they adjust. So even when you steer towards the side, the, the lights are also turn to avoid uh, 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 giving you blinders and everything at night. So I think it is a very, very cool car. I think you need to come and get it. So the, I'll put the price uh, down there in the video so that you may know maybe some cool aspects that I have not mentioned and also the price.